Yeah, so thank you. Thank you to Sharon. Thank you for sharing some of your, your Roblox adventures. Teacher, Hulk couldn't come in in the first place because somehow he was stuck and uh, Nan Oak needed to restart the. Okay, okay. Now we have a new student. Let's say hello to the new student. I can see your name is displayed oh, one, two, yeah. three, four. Who can help me with uh, our new student's name? Hello. Anybody know? Her name is Ingan. Ingan? Yes. Okay, hello Ingan. How are you? Hello. I can see uh, I can see a really cool little playground behind you. Okay, so Inkan is here. Paul, thank you for joining us. What happened? You had some internet problems? I don't know. Okay. Sure. Well, you've got a microphone there, or is that is that a real microphone or is that a is that a background? That's cool. So Paul, in the background of you, where where are you? Where are you? Do you know where, where that bridge is? London. <laughs> London, okay. Does everybody agree? Is it London? Yes. It's in London. London, okay. Oh, can I go to London too? I would really? like to, I would like to visit London, London one day. Oh, you're so lucky. Now let's have Chicago. a look. Chicago, 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 Chicago. Chicago, yeah. pretty close. I'm gonna show you where I think it is, okay? I think it's called the Golden Gate Bridge. Golden Gate Bridge. Any guesses where where is this going to be? Is it London? Is it Chicago? I think it's London. There it is. We're going to look at Wikipedia. So that is known as the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, San Francisco. Yeah, it looks San so Francisco. like the London one, but but I know the London one is more curvy than that one. Yeah, let's have a look. So that's in California, San Francisco California. is the Golden Gate Bridge. California is a nice yeah. kingdom. Yeah, it sure is a nice yeah. place. So the one that I think everyone was talking about was London Bridge. Now London Bridge. I think that's an older style bridge, but the shape is very similar. The shape is very similar to Paul's background. Oh, that's not the one, is it? Um, let's have a that's look. That's the London Bridge? No, I think it's... <laughs> no, that's an, I think that is one of the London Bridges, but... Uh, London Bridge. London Bridge famous. Try to check that. Oh, yeah, let's, oh, there. That's the one we're talking about. That yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, place. so that's the more that's the famous London Bridge. Okay, London Bridge is falling down. Yes, yes, that's a famous song. London Bridge is falling down. Okay, guys, so last week we talked about the Olympic Games. Hey, hey Olympic. Uh, did you find anything? Oh, look at my I talked so many times about this, but you never, no go on, one Finia, so go on, Finia, what, what was your question? Did you find anything about Olympic fun facts? Olympic fun facts. Um, stop, stop, stop. No, I didn't. So let's um let's let's begin today's class with a with a little bit of time regarding Olympic fun facts. Let's let's make a list of Olympic. Fun facts. What could we find? I know um, what we can do, which I talked to my students earlier this week, was about the Olympic mascots. Mascots? What yeah. Does, does, every, does anybody know what it means by the word mascot? Uh, here was our, there was our, our facts that we that we generated last week. So just a quick revision and we'll get onto our fun facts. So here on the screen are our summer Olympic facts. 
Um, Finia, what's number one? Number one, it began in 776 BC, Asian Olympics. Yeah, so ancient Olympia, Olympia Greece. And then um, number two began Again? in 1896. That's the modern Olympics. That was in Athens, Greece. Number three. Colors of the five Olympic rigs. Green, yellow, red, black, blue, white background. Okay. And uh, next one. How many sports Four are in the Olympics? 42 sports have been played at the Olympics. Excellent. Number five, Tokyo 2020 Olympics was postponed. Postponed means that they couldn't do it on time. They had to do it at a later date. Postponed. And why? Because it was due to COVID-19. It was a little bit too dangerous for everybody to travel. London UK has hosted three games three times. The games three times. Paris, France, and Los Angeles. USA, two times. Two times, yes. So they're, they're quite um, lucky. Those countries have, have hosted the Olympic Games quite often. Yes, but they must be, but they must uh, spend a lot of money for that. Yes, very true. Yeah, a lot of money to, to bring all the athletes in to, to have the Olympics. Metal types metal types gold first silver second and brown third okay excellent so that was our facts from last week just so we could do just a quick revision and now let's just move on to some fun facts quickly olympic fun facts okay so olympic fun facts can everybody see that can anybody think of an Olympic fun fact? Olympic fun I don't know, maybe, but, but I don't know why they were not naked that in the old Olympics. Ah, yes, okay, now that's a, that's, that's a good fun fact. So fun facts in ancient, we can say in ancient Olympic, times comma athletes did not wear clothing you know why because i know now why i think back then ancient times so we're talking about oh many many maybe one to two thousand no years no ago. no they had a lot of clothes to wear they still they know how to plant the plant clothes so they have enough cloth but the thing what they couldn't do is sheet because uh -huh. if they would have if they they could have a spring and then when they jump <sighs> they could go go over the thing uh, go over the metal without thing or wear a thick mm. protection that they don't get too much harm and won't get lost so that's why they were not naked okay okay excellent all right so here we have on the screen 25 fun facts about the olympics there we have the olympic rings who can tell me what is this symbol in the middle what is the person holding fire Fire, yes, very good. I think fire. So to be more correct, we'll put it down here. It looks hot. This would be the Olympic torch used oh. to light the Olympic, Olympic. cauldron. Oh. oh, yeah, right. Okay, so we'll have a look at that soon. So that's the Olympic torch, and that travels all around the world before the Olympics. So the Olympic torch travels all around the world before the Olympics start. 
Okay, so that's what it does. So, and then it comes to the Olympics and it's used to light the Olympic cauldron. Can I read? What we do, hold on. Well, let's just have a look quickly at a short video. Olympic torch and cauldron. Who knows what a cauldron is? Um, I think cauldron is like the gateway or something or the middle. Of it. Let's have a look. Here is the um the opening of the um or the oh, lighting of the oh, cauldron in Japan. Wow, that's nice. Look at that. So yeah, so basically at the start of the Olympic Games, the torch is taken to the cauldron, and the cauldron is kind of like a big shell that's gonna hold the fire for the two weeks of the Olympic Games. And let's have a look at the one in Japan. Can you make it big? I will make it bigger. Can everybody see it? Perfect. Okay, so that is um, Nendo's Nendo's Tokyo 2020 open opening. So let's check out the tour. This is a very fancy cauldron that's in Japan, Tokyo. Very high tech. Pat is always always a fancy stuff. So cool. Yeah, very fancy stuff. The Japanese are very good at technology. Not only that, they do very fancy stuff. Yeah, and a lot of robotics and a lot of technology. You know, in you know, in Japan, they even do puddles that they feel like they're like the kids feel like they're riding a bike and then but still learning they just put pedals under the table wow really yes okay, so that is a um and so there there we can see in the background there's the cauldron and that will stay on fire all through the other but that's a that's a very modern one for the um the Olympic Games. Let's have a look at one that's a little older. Let's have a look at. Okay, so here is the um. What usually happens is this girl, she took the torch and lit the cauldron to begin the Olympic Games, and let's see if anybody knows this girl. Let's have a look. So this is Japan 2020. So there she is. She's holding the Olympic torch. Oops. Sorry. Oh. Can... Uh, where are we? Oh. Lost my page. Hold on. So here she is. Ah, look at this. is quite interesting, guys. If anyone, you guys who like science. So... So one special person gets selected to light the Olympic flame. And for 2020, it was this girl here. Does anybody know who she is? Oh, I already watched that. Oh, you watched it? Okay. So um, I don't think uh, I don't think I watched it before, but a special person I I never knew there must be a person. Uh, is she was she selected because she was brave or? No, she um she was selected because she's a famous athlete from Japan. Um, now uh -huh. her name is Naomi Osaka. Naomi Osaka. Yeah. So this is uh this is uh -huh. her. This is oh, Naomi. she is a tennis girl. Yeah, she's a she's a, she's a very famous uh, tennis player from Japan. She's oh. actually half Japanese and half African, I believe. So she's a mixed Japanese girl, and she got selected to to light up the Olympic cauldron, which was a very special thing. Um, just quickly before we get on to more fun facts. 
Let's have a look at an old cauldron. What year should we go to? Which year of the Olympics should we go to? We can go to maybe my birthday. My birthday was in 1976. 76. Yeah, so my birthday was in 1976 and the Olympic Games were held in Canada. Let's see what the Canadian people did when they, for their cauldron, compared to what we saw for the Japanese then. The Japanese cauldron was quite fancy and high tech. There is, okay, so here is a more basic one. Let's go back to, oh, nearly 40 years ago. Off. Just to show there are you no the difference in dogs, technology. Just from... untrained humans. It's just that simple. That... So teacher, so there's like this bowl, but quite flat and there's coal in it. So when you put the fire, the torch and the coals, it will burn like that. Yeah, really good question. So I don't believe it's, um, it's coal. So it would be, um, it would be like a, like a kerosene or an oil. Oh, okay. I think that's so nice. So it would be usually something like, uh, I believe it would be like a, we call kerosene, which is kind of like. Um, uh, oh, kerosene, you, kerosene, okay. You would put this in, you would put this in a, a little lamp. What is this? So this is kerosene. You would, this would be sitting in the bottom. This would be sitting in the bottom of the Olympic torch so it stays on fire and it doesn't go out. Um, so we would have to, in the olden days before e batteries, before batteries, everybody would have to use a kerosene lamp, for example. Okay, so this, before the days of electricity, we would use kerosene in a lamp, just like this. This is very common if you go camping. Oh. Know, normally we wanted to make pool, a... so this is uh, this is a lamp. Normally my family wanted to go to um an night adventure and going to Bu Bukau. It, it's this any kind of mountain to camp there. And but then COVID came first. We wanted to go with that exactly that light. Kind of okay, like, so a kerosene. It's hard to find. It's hard really to find useful nowadays. because you know you can't really use candles because when it's windy, the candle will blow out. Now, one interesting thing, if we go back to the Tokyo Olympics and we, we saw Naomi Osaka here. Now, this is the first we can read here. Tokyo Olympic flame is the first powered by hydrogen. Hydrogen? They didn't use kerosene. Now this is this here, it's um. This is interesting. It's maybe not a fun fact, but it's an interesting fact. So we're going to put here Olympic fun slash interesting facts. So number two, Tokyo Olympic flame is the first powered by hydrogen. So this is very new technology. So hydrogen, what is hydrogen? Hydrogen is like a chemical thing. Yeah, it's like a gas. Let's have a look if we can have a look at hydrogen. And okay, so hydrogen is, is like a gas. Yes. H2, it's called H2. H2 is the chemical. Okay, so that is the first time ever that the uh, hydrogen has been used to power the Olympic flame. So that's something. So something we'll record in our interesting facts. Okay, so. Let's go and source some new, some more fun facts. Okay, so here is our fun facts page. I will just hide our meeting control. So, okay, so let's have a look. Okay, number one, nobody knows when, when and how the Olympic Games started. Okay, because it happened so long ago, we don't have a lot of evidence of that. So let's go to number two. 
Number two, the first Olympics only had one discipline. One discipline, in other words, that means it only had one sport. So that's, a, that's an interesting fact, okay? So the very first Olympics only had one, that's, one sport. That's, a, that's an already know why, because those kind of things, like those kind of people were more like, they, that was one land, but they didn't like each other, the cities. So they always had an Olympics. Olympic game and then their only one sport is called resting or battling. Yeah, you're right. You're right. A lot of people, a lot of many, many years ago, a lot of people didn't have time to play sport. They were too busy either farming or fighting in wars and things. So so they started off with just uh, just running. Let's go down. Number three, the first Olympics only lasted for a day. Okay, so it only lasted for, a, for one day, very short. Uh, number four, this is what we covered already. So the athletes used to run naked. So no clothing in those days. They had clothing, but they just couldn't cheat. Maybe, yeah, to pre prevent, prevent cheating. Uh, number five, the 1500 years break. Okay, so they had a big break. They had the Olympics in the ancient times and then what is years they had a break and before they started again in 1896 in Athens. So extremely long time. Let's have a look. Yes, not even... Women have been allowed to compete in the Olympics since 1900. Okay, so... Wow, women... that's amazing. Yeah, that is. Women have been included in the Olympics pretty much. I think they missed out on the first Olympic Games in 1896. But after that, the women were always in there. Um, okay, let's have a look. London 2012 was a landmark for equality when each nation sent at least one female competitor. So they made sure every country had a girl there. Because sometimes maybe one a small country might only have one or two athletes and they might be men. So they made, made sure everybody had both a, a boy and a girl athlete. Um, okay, the modern Olympics lasted for six months. The Olympic ring symbols. Okay, so they're just some That's interesting... Uh, some interesting facts now. That's so amazing. If it would be real rings, how could we like just put the rings there? And Yeah, quite amazing. So they were created, the Olympic rings were created by Pierre de Corbetin in 1913. Okay. Mark. Yes. That that Are those that picture that picture look like some car logo oh yes okay yes so very good this the olympic rings does look like a car logo who knows what car logo that is i know which uh, one you, you try, i think i don't know uh, are you... this is the one i think we're talking about let me tell me if i'm correct it's it's audi audi yeah so there we go it's a little bit the a same, but only, but only they they are the yeah. straight and don't have different colors. Yes, yes, correct. So there are four rings on the album. Lamborghini, Lamborghini. Oh, Lamborghini. Let's have a look at the Lamborghini logo. I think that's not a ring, is it? Lamborghini. We talked about sport and we yeah, so no, Lamborghini. So it definitely was. Lamborghini is for Aventador. It definitely was an Audi. So let's go um, number 10. Look, number 10, that's, an, that's a tough one. The Olympic Games have been cancelled. Please, can I read? Go on, read it. What happened? Read number 10. Ma, the Olympics have been cancelled three times. Not just pa post 
postponed, postponed like Tokyo postponed 2020 delayed. because of the pandemic, but really cancelled. It happened during the two world wars. Two world wars. So we spoke about that last week. Um, when there was a war figure, on, figure they didn't skating have the Olympics. Figure skating and ice hockey were part of the Summer Olympics. What? Wow. Usually they're Winter Olympic sports, but they were part of the Summer Olympics. Okay, let's just get one more fact down. So one more fact. So the Olympics were cancelled three times, so they did not take place. Um, Why is it so small? Uh, due to... World War number one and two. And two, not three. No, so far there's only been World One, World War One, and World War Two. No World War Three, fortunately. Um, okay, so. And I hope there won't be. No, let's. I think you. We probably won't see that. Okay. So there are our fun facts. The other fun facts I wanted to have a look at are. Olympic mascots. These are quite interesting. What's a mascot? Mascot. I forgot. Okay, so let's have a look here. Oh, here are some Olympic mascots. What? Welcome. Okay, oh, so these are like, called they're Olympic. Like people. There's like circle, people. circle, it's circle, nice. circle. I see that. It's like I see some people disguised in those clothes and then just walk around giving some flowers to everyone. Some, yeah, some so let's have things. a look at, um, let's go and have a look over here. Who knows what country was the Olympics on in the year 2000? I don't really remember. Um, what are the animals? What are the animals we can see here in the year 2000? There's three of them. And there is a hedgehog. There hedgehog is an ah. So, in the year two thousand, the Olympic Games was in my country of Australia. So this is the Sydney Olympics, and we had we had three mascots. We had a kookaburra. We had a platypus. Oh. And we had an echidna. Oh, I forgot. It's okay. So let's just have a look at. Let's have a look at. Oh, I'll just close this one down for a second. Let's just go and have a look at Olympic mascot for Sydney Olympics. And then, and each mascot has a name, and wow. they are the face of the Olympics. So they support all the athletes and make it enjoyable for the crowd so Someone here can is... you like um erase oh yep sorry i will clear that okay there we go okay so the um the mascots in sydney olympics were ollie sid ollie sid millie and, millie lizzie. and lizzie ollie now, sid and millie were like the official mascot of 20, uh, 2000 Summer Olympic in Liz Olympics. Oh. So there they are. Sorry, Vinny, I'll just go quickly. So there's, um, so there's Ollie, Sid and Millie. So they were the Olympic mascots for Sydney. Let's have I a saw look. anime version. Oh, the anime. Yeah, like the anime version. Let's have a look at um, the Japanese mascots. Let's see what Tokyo are using. Tokyo Ghoul? Tokyo Also, let's have Tokyo a look. Cool. Anybody <laughs> Tokyo Olympic mascots? Cool. Tokyo Olympic Bye. mascots. Here they are. Oh, my God. So here are the um, the Tokyo 2000 Olympic mascots. We have, we have Maritawa and Sometti. That is wait, 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 wait. wait. But that's, I like but that's the mascot cool. I use. I like it. I and like here are the it. real versions. Very cool. Uh, so you know why I'm... This one. Wow. wow. You know 
I am watch TV. Uh, I like this one. They're our they're they our Tokyo they. mascots. Mm, no, I like gone. So they look really cool, don't they? So they're robots, basically. Uh, I don't know if my uh, I don't know if my school posted it. It was the satirical game. Right, the satirical game, swimming satirical game. There was, oh, yes. there was. I think it was like a mascot, like almost like that one, but more like mature, more uh, malish. Okay, thank you, Finia. So look, let's um. I don't Let's just quickly have, it, have a look at an introduction here, guys. Let's have a look at the introduction no. to the the mascot. Oh, I like the pink one. It's so cute. The pink one is for girls. Yeah, there's one boy mascot and one girl. I think it they are. And then usually all the kids in Japan would have picked these two mascots. Tokyo Tower. Oh, Tokyo Tower. So they're very Tokyo of Japan, isn't it? Well, there they are. They're the mascot. Before COVID-19, I go to Japan. Oh, somebody's been to Japan. I'd love to go to Japan. Oh, that's Well, welcome to Tokyo. So these are the, the mascots of Tokyo. Okay, now let's, look at, one other, let's look at one other set of mascots. Um, I go to Tokyo and eat a sheep. She should not Let's look at the. Who knows where Mama. Rio de Janeiro is? Mama. Where is Rio de Janeiro? That was the last Olympic Games in 2016. Who knows where Rio is? Rio de Janeiro. Let's see. Let's have a look at. It. Oh, here we go. Sure. So, Vincius and Tom. Okay, so these two guys were the sure. official. These were the official mascots. Jesus. What? When the Olympics were in Brazil, yeah. here are the mascots. They are called. Teacher. Yes, go ahead. Teacher. Teacher. What? Oh, hold on. I'm just going to put on I can, so I can see the camera. So, does anybody have any questions? Sure. Yes. Yes. You can ask a question. No. <laughs> so, guys, no. um, who can tell me where was, where are these guys from? Sure. So, here are the mascots. We are Argentina. Close, very close, Paul. Not Argentina. The city is called Rio de Janeiro, and that is the that is the uh, a city in Brazil. So, these are the two mascots for Brazil. And let's go and have a look at which country. Which country? We can have a look at China. Shall we have a look at the the Chinese mascots? No one know what is this. Let's have a look at Beijing. So Beijing Olympics uh, mascots. Let's see what the let's see what China did for their mascots. They would be, I think, China would be very creative. There we go. Okay, so there are the mascots that were put together for the Olympic Games in China in two thousand and eight. Oh, here we go. Okay, so they look they look pretty cool. There was five of them. And so there were the Olympic mascots. So every Olympic has each country puts together their own set of mascots. All right. So guys, <clears throat> let's go for uh, an activity now. Keeping up with our <clears throat> our Olympic theme. Just um, oh, 
how we just get this closed off. Okay, guys, can everybody see my screen? Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> we have uh, 13 different sports here. Number one. Example BMX racing, running, karate, canoe, sprint, hurdles, sport climbing, open water, track cycling, basketball, surfing, skateboarding, and marathon. Okay, excellent. So, and artistic gymnastics. Number one, taekwondo. All right, let's, let's go through them quickly. So... Let me just see if I can, we'll do some color coding here. Okay, so Taekwondo number one. Where is Tai? Oh, so, so what we're gonna do, let's do um, karate, number one. Karate. Karate. karate, karate. Karate, yeah, similar, similar, very similar to Taekwondo. Um, next one, number two. No. Number Mark two. Mark. Who knows what number two is? Uh, but can we, what is yeah. hurdles? Number two. Number is, two is sport climbing. Well done. Sports climbing. Climbing. Number three. No, oh, no number uh, two. Let me just color wait, code this wait, one. Whoa, 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 wait. Isn't number one sport climbing and number two BMX racing? No, so number one is here. Oh, and ah, the label so is under, underneath. So, it's so under. yeah, that's okay. I thought it's, I no, thought it's over. number three. Let's go number three. Number three. It's BMX go. racing, right? Number three is yes. Everybody, where is BMX? Let's have a look. There it is. It is, there. B, it is BMX racing. BMX racing. Okay, so number three, BMX. BMX racing. Number four. Skateboarding, I think. Skateboard. Skateboard. Yeah, you can see him. Number five. Wait, what? Number five, running. Push mark. Skateboarding, yeah. yeah. Can you go down again? Sorry, yes, this. Let's I go. saw something. It's hero. Uh, running. Uh, and that's I'm the running. That's the little marathon. Bit. Number five. Uh, so, what type of that's running the is marathon. That? That's the marathon. There yeah. it is. Marathon. Running. Now, what how long is a marathon? Three marathon. How many kilometers do I run in a marathon? Can anybody tell me? Two, three. How many Hello, kilometers is a marathon? One. Marathon I want distance. This one. I, believe I need this. Make it all. Okay, so here we go. Everybody knows if you run a marathon, you have to run 42 kilometers. 42? Whoa! 42. And that's oh. kilometers, not oh. meters. Wow. wow. Very long. We're going to put that in our fun facts, okay? A marathon is... 42 kilometers, very long. Okay, so we're down to number, let's go. Number six. Swimming, that's swimming. But swimming. what is it called? Swimming. Seven, I think is easy, isn't it? We all know number six and seven, so let's take them off the board here. Basketball. Let's just get rid of basketball first. I think it's open water. Um, I think it's open water. Open water. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, it's got to be open water. So that's just a, another word for swimming. Um, number eight. What's number eight? Number eight. I think it's um, um try. I think I know. No, to boat. Hurdless. I think it's her. Yeah. Sailing, 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 sailing. Sailing. No, not quite sailing. No, it's hurdless. This it's one, this one here. Ready? There it is. Canoe. Oh, canoe sprint. Canoe sprint. 
canoe sprint. Sprint means to go fast. And canoe, you guys know this one, right? This one is a canoe. Let's have a look at the canoe. There it is. That's a canoe. And it's a canoe sprint. Okay, so we got that one. Let's go. What's next? So, um, racing. Now, number nine. Number nine is running. Racing. Running. No, no, what are they running. jumping it's over? racing. Jumping. So running, they're jumping. jumping. They're jumping over something. I heard Finia mention this a few times. So, yes. we're talking about hurdles. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's hurdles. So, these are hurdles. Very hard, not just running, but you have to run and jump at the same time. Very tricky. Yes, and look, there, the, there was one who couldn't make it to the very high one there. Yeah, correct. I mean, what happens if you if you hit? If you I'm hit not hurdle, it slows you down. You. So number nine, we're gonna go here I'm to. Come on, I everything. Running. Like that. What about eleven? What's that one? Okay. I think it's artistic gymnastics. Yes, correct. Artistic gymnastics. Yeah. And then we've got number twelve. Is surfing, surfing. Surfing. That's surfing. That must be surfing. Up, up, up. And the and last one is, of course, track cycling. 13, stop, correct. Stop. Track cycling, number 13. There we go. All right, good one. So that's uh, that's our, our some of our Olympic sports. Now some questions. Which of the sports above are the four new sports at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics? So new sports means that they, they were never at the Olympic Games before. Let's see if we can guess which ones do we think are the four new ones. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know. All right, I have think, a guess, Paul. Wait, What's the I think it's because I think canoe sprint because I never saw canoe sprint. And I think... Uh, okay. um, Canoe sprint. Um, Bravo. So let's have a look. So I know, I know definitely. Oops, sorry. I know definitely one of the new sports. Is canoe sprint? Yes. Oh, oh. Be, hold on. Let me just get my. Uh, I can't do this. How can I? Do this? I think it's canoe sprint. Mama, I'm in the uh, first one would be, I want to change the color of my highlighter, hopefully. Let's have a look. Uh, our first one is number 12, okay? So number 12 is a new sport. Surfing. Surfing. Surfing has never been in the Olympics before. 12. Oh. 12. 12. Um, I have one day I go to karate Oh, sorry, Chen, you've been surfing before? Um, I have one day I go to... Surf, surf, surf. Hold well on, Paul. Oh, very good, Chen. Okay, so the, the other new sport is here, number two. I knew it, I knew it, is, I knew um, it. A new sport is sports climbing or rock climbing. That's, the, that's another new one. I knew it. I knew it. Skateboarding is another new one. Number yeah. one, karate. Yes. Number two, sports. You know what? I think karate, Paul, I think karate may be a new Spin sport. Because before it was taekwondo. Yes, before it was taekwondo. But I think they Spin changed more. it. So let's have a look. Um... Okay, so the new sports were here. Karate, surfing, sports climbing, and skateboarding. They were the new, um, they were the new Olympic sports in Tokyo. All right, let's go to the next question. Which Olympic sport do you like the most and why? 
<laughs> oh, I know. Gymnastics. Artistic gymnastics. Okay, okay. So let's go around. Let's ask everybody. So um, Finia's favorite Olympic sport is artistic gymnastics. I can't even do it myself. Okay, so artistic gymnastics. Okay, so things like going on the, the horse and going on oh, the Oh, I can't cars. do the horse, but I can do a like a back walk on the bar. Do you know what is a back walk? Yes. Okay, I so think... that's um okay, and why, Finia? Why is that one of your favorite sports in the Olympics? I don't know. It's like I it keeps me happy and I even feel it keeps me even happier because it also keeps me healthy. Oh, very good. Okay, so healthy keeps you you happy and you enjoy it. Very. Oh, okay. It's not like I'm tired and I'm so tired and then I know I get sometimes very greedy when I'm tired, but in gymnastic, when I get tired, I feel more happy somehow. I understand, understand. Okay, that's great. Now, who else can tell me what's another Olympic sport? Why? What's your favorite and why? But so I have not to, only um, one. I let's go no. to to Chen. Chen, if you if you could pick an Olympic sport, which Olympic sport would you? Go and try to get a gold medal. Which which one? What? What what would be your favorite Olympic sport? Uh so my favorite, I'll tell you what my favorite is first. My favorite is the javelin. Does anyone know what the javelin oh, is? Oh ja the javelin. Yes, I know. I it. love I, know it. I love yeah, javelin. Run, okay. Run, I just love javelin really, in the Olympics. Can... Um so this is my favorite Olympic sport. And why? Because I just enjoy seeing uh, like how far you can throw the javelin. I don't know what what is my favorite Olympic sport. Yeah, if you I could have no one. idea, bro. I Olympic gymnastics. Olympic gymnastics later wait, as well. You love wait, gymnastics. Can you have that too? I also have it. It's fun to play with, I think. Oh, yeah, it's the butterfly. It's the butterfly. Okay, Chen, do you have an idea? Any Olympic sport that you think would be fun? Oh, I need to find my butterfly. We've um, got things like... I don't know. Football is... Football? Olympic sport or It is, it not. is, it is. Yes, football is in the Olympics. Yeah, so. I like football. Oh, good. So, so Chen, that's good. So, you like Olympic uh, Olympic football? That there is that's been around for a long time. So, <laughs> look at let's that. Someone look. tried to cross the Olympic in BMX the BMX. before COVID. Not the, bad. Um, I so Chen 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 likes an Olympic sport of football. Yeah, because uh, how about Chris? How about you, Chris? What's your favorite Olympic sport? And Paul, what's your favorite Olympic sport? If you could pick one. Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Okay, excellent. Okay, so Paul, Taekwondo. And why, Paul? Why Taekwondo? You why can taekwondo? kick a lot. So Taekwondo, that's good. So that's some of our sports. Okay, so let's go down... Which sport do you like least? Okay, so what sport do you not like? Let me think of a sport that I don't like. Um, mm, which one would I not like? That's a tricky one. Most of them are good, but there are some that are a little bit, <coughs> a little bit not so interesting. Anybody got any ideas of a sport that's not good? Um, let's have a look. Oh. Actually, this we've got Olympic shooting. No, I don't really. I don't really like Olympic shooting, 
but I like the Olympic shooting, what they do with the arrows. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, um, what, what's that called again? That's called... Mm, archery. Archery. Archery, not archery. Archery is really cool. So there we go. There, there is the Olympic archery. But that's actually a good sport. So one that I don't like. I like this. Which one, Chris? Uh, athlete. Athletes? <laughs> Athletics. <laughs> now look, this is, this is probably one that I don't like to watch too much, but it is a good sport. I think I really like it. I even normally I oh I I I want to be uh I want to be that, but my old friend also wants to be it. It's like we need to have flex flexibility, which I have, but my breathing is not much. My breathing yeah, is not you. much. I think um I think like it's very hard to do. This is artistic swimming or synchronized swimming. It's very good, but I I if I had to choose one sport that I don't swimming. like too much, it's probably this. Um, my favorite sport, as I said, was javelin. Another one that I really like is hammer throw. More of a boys' sport. This one, so they're throwing these big hammers. I, I kind of like this one. Where they hold. I know my dad and me always. My dad and me says uh, they the girls have a strange figure with hammer throw because they have like this thick figure. Oh yeah, you got to be quite strong. Let's um, let's have a look at a short video on hammer throw. So not an easy sport to do, but one of my favorites. What's Mark? Yes, Jen. What's Mark? Do you know why I am watch TV? Okay, so this one, I mean, it's uh, you got to spin around quite a lot of times before you let go of the hammer throw. And you've got to keep it right. You can't throw it outside of the line. So your timing has to be perfect. I kind of like this one because you just can't let it go anywhere. You've got to let it go between those two lines. There we go. And then it's got to be the release. So she throws it. And then it's got to be thrown between those lines. And look, that's quite fun. 32, 37, 40, 50, 55, 60, and it's going to land now, or oh, 74 meters, so that's a very far, it's a very long throw. Okay, so that's a little bit about my favorite, one of my favorite Olympic sports. What's more? Yes, Jen? Do you know why I watch TV? Ah, uh, why? Because my computer can connect, connect with TV. Oh, your your computer can watch TV. My computer, my computer can connect the TV. Look. Oh, okay, okay. So you have like a. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. It's um, you got like a smart TV, so you have Netflix on there. Not smart TV, it's true ID TV. Oh, okay, got you. It's coming through like true, true TV. True ID TV. Oh, yeah, I, I, IP TV, very good. All right, so that was, um, <laughs> let's go and finish off our discussion. So which sport do you least like? So and why? So I selected synchronized swimming or artistic swimming why because maybe it's a little bit slow and not too interesting for a boy uh, number four which sport do you think is the most popular and why mm. Mm, this is a good most popular for me would be the mm, running because 
the running because a lot of people use it and uh very good video running. so i guess what because we want to know is uh, like what what is the most popular olympic sport so not so much what we think but i guess if we asked everybody around the world which one would they pick and i think you might be exactly right so the most popular olympic sport i think Oh, it's football, tennis, weightlifting, gymnastics. Wow, I knew it. Let's have a look. Yeah. At Run. Popular. Running, okay. running. Yeah, look, I, I think, I think, I think, one hundred meter running. Let's have a look, guys. Let's have a look at the top ten list here. So we'll go down. Okay, so ten. Gymnastic. Handball. 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 Which is, it's like football, but by using your hands instead of your feet. So let's go through them quickly because we're nearly finished for today. So Daddy. number nine, wrestling, taekwondo, judo. So that's very popular with some of the martial art Olympic game sports. You know, after the uh, COVID-19, I wanted to do judo, but somehow my I always try to beat my dad, but my dad just makes me go to a bridge. Wow. Yeah, look, it's very, very good sports um, if you can do some martial arts. Let's go to the next I one. Uh, number eight, table tennis. I love table tennis. It's so fast. It's so exciting. Isn't it ping pong? Uh, that's another name for it. It's another name for it. Table ping tennis. Pong. But but official official name is table tennis. So that's number eight. Who can guess what number seven is? Let's go number seven. Any guesses? Nope. Team volleyball. Volleyball. So Thailand, the Thailand volleyball. women's team is very good at volleyball. I even see that time the news. Uh, a lot of. There were five, uh, five. There were five Thai who tried try to beat the uh, the Asian one, and then men's the basketball. Basketball, yes, number six, men's basketball, number six. Let's keep going down the list. Water polo. Oh, I know, I know. So water polo. It's like getting water ball. ball. It's like football on water. Yeah, correct. It's like football on water. That's a good way to say it, actually. Water polo. Women's soccer is very popular. Or oh, women's football. Number four. Number three. Swimming. Yay! Swimming. You know, I was in the uh, Olympic, but, but for junior as swimmer, as a swimmer, I got Michael the Phelps. Place. Yes, I got swimming. A and Michael Phelps. Um. I, I mark it a silver, I mark it a big silver. So there is the, and the number two is track. Track is like running, like sprinting and high jump and long jump, everything on the track. That's number two. And number one, what could number one be? I think it's going to be diving. Oh, gymnastics. Okay, so number one is gymnastics. Knew it. The number one is gymnastics. Now, I thought the, the number one... Gymnastic. I thought this one... I thought this would be the most famous and most popular. The 100 meters um, race. So here is the... This, this one here I'm going to show you is from 1988. And it's the 100 meters race. In, in no. Seoul. Does anybody know where Seoul is? Seoul, Korea. Yes. So Seoul is in South Korea. This is where the Olympic Games were. And this, oh, race, here, this race here is the world record. Um, let's have a look at it. It's uh, Ben Johnson from Canada. He breaks. When the I saw record. it, it's like someone got. Someone got forward and then someone hits him and then he got back somehow. Okay, let's have a quick look. One of the great challenges in this world is knowing Probably enough the about most a popular race to think you're right. The popular, most popular Olympic but not enough about the event subject. that takes place every Olympics. Race seven, number 181, 
So we'll just skip oh. the of the race here, okay? So, so this is probably what, you know, the most famous Olympic event. It's the 100 meter, oh, the 100 meter running race. A very famous guy here in the red called Carl Lewis. He was the world champion from America. Everybody thought he was going to win. So this is quite old, so get ready. The record, the world record is 9.83 seconds. And the winner broke the world record in 9.79 seconds. Okay, so that's the 100 meter sprint. So very, very famous. Who was very it? famous event there. So that's probably the most popular. Um, one last question. Can you name any famous sports person going to the Olympics? So we know now in Thailand, we've got, uh, we've got the, the new... Tennis. Yeah, we've got the new gold medalist, tennis from Thailand. Tennis. So tennis, yes. Yeah, so tennis. she is... Um, she is now probably the most famous... Oh, tennis in Taekwondo. So that's a famous person, Taekwondo. And she won the gold medal. So this is her, isn't it? There she is. So this is uh, a famous person from Thailand that, that went to the Olympics and won a gold medal. She's named Tennis. Yes, that's right. Her nickname is Tennis. So she's now, she won the gold medal, which was fantastic. So that's... um. That's a famous person that went to the Olympics. So that's very good. Um, okay. And guys, that's, that's, um, that's the end of our class for today. So we just continued on with our Olympic, continued on with our Olympic theme. So we have the Olympics. Will, the Olympics will be going on probably for another three or four days. And then it finishes and then it doesn't come back for another four years. Whoa, that's long. Yeah, it's quite a long time. So that's why, um, yeah, the next time you guys will see the Olympics, you'll be like four years older. So it's going to be a fair, fair while away. Eight, right, now what's, nine, what's everybody, ten, what's everybody, 11, what's everybody going to have 12. for lunch today? Anybody I have any have lunch plans? No idea. I think I'm going to eat spaghetti yeah. again. Like the like so yesterday. Vinya spaghetti. Uh, who else? Who else has got uh, an idea about lunch today? It's so a difficult question. I just eat things random. Oh, you you just re eat randomly, Finia? Yes. Yeah, that happens sometimes. I've got a pumpkin. I bought a pumpkin, so I might put the pumpkin. And Pumpkins roast are it quite in. I might roast sweet. The, a pumpkin in no, the oven. No, my mother and father. I like asparagus for the whole family. Yum. And then they said it's so yummy. And then they just bought more and more wow. asparagus every day. Pretty cool. Paul, did you, no, Paul, what were you going to say? What What was Paul going to say? What are you going to have for lunch, Paul? Any, any lunch plans? <sighs> and Chris? You know, soup. Soup, is it? Yes. She can have a soup. Oh, chicken soup. Yummy. Nice, Paul. Chen, what do you think about what, what you, what? I don't go outside. I don't lunch outside. Okay, you're going to get something outside. All right, excellent. Guys, Um, we're finished today. So everybody have a good, have a good day. Have a good Wednesday. And I'll see you guys next, next week. Why it's has something wrong? Yeah, I'm so sad. Thank you, teacher mom. Thank you.
teacher mom. Wait, wait, I'm yes, so Paul. Thank you, teacher mom. Thank you, teacher mom. Thanks, Crystal. Good night, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you, Lita and Luke and Kunku. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, Chen. Bye bye. Guys, have a good new. Bye bye, new. See you and play Benoit. Yes. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye 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 b